everyone. Madison here with Health by Ratio. Uh, my team and I of licensed physical therapists and corrective exercise specialists and functional health coaches all work together to uh, virtually with our clients to help our, our clients move away from recurring pains and injuries and instead move toward their functional health and fitness goals. And we take a, like I said, holistic approach to do this. And we've had some amazing uh, successes with our clients after they've tried kind of really everything that they could think of to get back to the activities or, or events or exercise um, platforms that they were passionate about. And I would say the reason for that is because we don't look at one aspect of health, we try to take a very holistic approach. And so uh, I'm going to get into kind of beyond just the uh, stretching and beyond just the manual releases, beyond just the exercises that we need to do on a regular basis to correct the body. That's obviously a huge focus on what we talk about and what a lot of our, our videos here are geared toward. But instead, we're going to talk about um, the other aspects of what we need to consider with regards to our health that we all intuitively know make an impact, but maybe don't give enough credence to these things on just how important they are. So th this applies to literally every of, of one of our clients, like from our endurance athletes, like our marathon runners, like Orly and Murit, who were dealing with recurring, uh, basically everything from foot to knee to especially hip uh, related pains and injuries that were keeping them from being able to run or train the way they wanted to. And instead, were able to move away from not only those recurring injuries and pains, but get to a point where they could push their training to a whole new level and compete in a whole different um, at a whole different uh, level on their in their next marathon race. Or our more fast twitch athletes, like our our tennis players, like. Uh, Kevin and Sage, or dealing with like shoulder and neck related issues and elbow issues um, on a regular basis, or our golfers uh, like Ted or Paul that were consistently throwing out their back or throwing out their SI alignment of their hips or um, irritating the sciatic nerve and able to get them into a stable position so they could be playing multiple rounds of gol golf every week. Um, and also just like our, our clients that just generally are active individuals, people that live up in Alaska, like, uh, that, that need to be shoveling snow on a regular basis, like Bev who, and, and need to be doing the yard work and, and maintaining their, their, their property, um, or our avid, uh, hikers, uh, like Lori that want to be out and about and enjoying the, the nature on uh, when, when the, we get this beautiful weather and all that good stuff that like we want we want to be able to enjoy those things, but instead we're consistently dealing with nagging recurring injuries that kind of change up all over the place. But whether it's a foot, whether it's a knee, whether it's a hip, whether it's a back, whether it's a shoulder, and it keeps us from doing the things that we love or, or spending the active time with the um, family and friends that we enjoy. So instead we're able to take people that have uh, like all these people who were working with physical therapists and working with chiropractors and working with uh, acupuncturists and getting massage therapy done and trying to follow all of these uh, amazing YouTube tutorial videos out there, but yet weren't able to actually feel like they were healing. Instead, they felt like they were just chasing symptoms on a season in season out basis to actually being able to get in control of how their body moves to get back to moving into full range of stable motion, heal, and be able to consistently enjoy the activities that they want. And obviously a huge component of that is doing the right, the right exercises, the right stretches, the right mobility, manual manipulation techniques for that person's body. It's not following a, a, a cookie cutter um, a video that, that isn't necessarily uh, assessed to each individual. Uh, it's not necessarily doing just the basic techniques. Like often we, we initially get started with just the basic foundational pieces of rehabilitation, which is a great first step. But that's like just doing a bunch of clamshells and bridges and, and maybe some planks or bird dog and that kind of stuff is only going to take us so far 
when it comes to us needing to then be able to learn how to run better, or learn how to do our CrossFit training workouts correctly, or, or learn how to stabilize as we're swinging a golf club. Like it, it only takes us so far. So it's about progressing the body beyond those things. All that is incredibly important and assessing and reassessing and making sure the body's making the adjustments needed. Like the physical components obviously are huge, but just as important is the other facets that impact our health. And to us, that is the mindset side of it, the mental emotional component around it. That's incredibly important as well as nutrition. And the mindset side of it is incredibly important for multiple reasons because one, often we, like the power of what our practitioners have over us with certain statements that can last with us for the rest of our lives can be like either incredibly empowering or very detrimental. Like we have one of our, our, our clients, Mike is, is told by a practitioner, um, actually a practitioner's assistant that the things that he's doing are basically setting him back. Like he can't do those or he's going to need to have a uh, spinal fusion surgery on his lumbar and his neck. And the things that he's doing aren't, crazy like he's like mowing the lawn and he's just living life like he's not, not he's not doing anything ridiculous he's not doing stupid things he's trying to recondition his body but the the um statement was so jarring that the mental emotional side is oh my gosh i can't do anything i'm not allowed to move at all like i'm so i'm so freaked out i, I can't even try anything i can't get back to running let alone, uh, or I can't get back to mowing my lawn, let alone I, what I really want to do is be able to run and bike ride. Like there's like those, those statements to us can freak us out and we don't realize or don't give ourselves enough credit that we have a human body. Like everybody else has a human body and those human bodies know how to heal. They also have the ability to get stronger. They also have the ability to get more mobile and pliable. We have to do the right work. We have to do. We have to train the body to do it to make changes. That that isn't exactly an easy thing. That's all the physical aspects that we just talked about in terms of the components of of uh, getting ourselves moving uh, in a correct way and moving back to full range of stable motion. But we have bodies that can adapt. They can adjust. They can heal. They can grow. They can change. All that good stuff. And the, the practitioners that we get our advice from sometimes, and, and this isn't a fault of theirs, it's just often like it, we, we are specialized in certain components. I, as a functional movement coach and corrective exercise specialist, have certain specialties in how I can help coach our clients to their goals. Uh, our physical therapists have a different set of expertise. Our functional health coaches have a different set of expertise. And so that's why we work as a team to approach all facets. But if we're just seeing a chiropractor, or we're just seeing a physical therapist, or we're just seeing a functional movement coach or whatever it is, that person's going to be limited to what their particular background education experience is. And I, like as, as incredible as our surgeons are, as incredible uh, 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 as our, our doctors are, as incredible as our, our various coaches and practitioners are, and the vast array of knowledge that they bring to the table, if they've never worked with somebody who's completely changed their running gait before, if they've never worked with somebody who has been able to rehabilitate the way their glutes and core stabilizing their hips and back to support their spine so that 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 spinal surgery wasn't needed if they've never seen those things happen in their practice because they are working with a certain set period of uh, set of clients and clientele or patients then they're going to be limited into what's capable of our bodies and they might tell us you can't do something that actually is possible. It's just a different approach and it's going to take a different type of work. It's a lot of, there's a lot of work to get surgery and then rehab from that surgery. There's also a ton of work to not have that surgery and do the rehabilitation needed and the retraining of your body needed to get your body into a more functional place so that, that the tweaks, the death by a thousand cuts, the things, the way we bend, the way we walk, the way we hike, the way, the way we sit down and stand up, the things that are killing that back over and over again – the retraining those things, that's not easy either. Like they're, they both have, both of those paths are going to take a lot of work and energy to correct ourselves. And it's to each their own, what they're going to opt into and what they want to work through. 
but we don't necessarily need to tell somebody that it's cut or dry one way or the other. No, we have options. And if you put the fear of God in somebody that they can't even move, no, well, then that's going to make us be incredibly anxious around our own body's capabilities. And we might be terrified to actually push this body ever again, or to be able to even live a, a normal active life, not even like push it, just be able to live normal day-to-day -day life. We wouldn't be so scared to move when this body is an actual movement design machine. It's designed to move. It's not designed to be sedentary. That's how the lymphatic system functions. It's a, like, which drains inflammation and gets things out back into circulation in our body. It's what aids in actual blood circulation, getting all the tissues hydrated. It's what keeps us sane. It's what gets us, it's what keeps us sane. And for those of us that like exercise, that like movement, that get, get us better mental clarity and all that good stuff. Like there, there's so many aspects to this that are, are important in our health. So the mindset side is very important. So when we bring somebody in, we need to educate them on why their body is doing what it's doing. So they understand it. And then also why that matters, why, why those movements, why those uh, positions, why those daily activities that they're doing and the way they're doing it are causing these injuries, are causing these pains, are causing these re-aggravations over and over again. Because if we can have them understand the why and then say, okay, now you get why it's happening, you understand what you're doing, now how do we fix this? What are the techniques that you need to do? And what are the, the awarenesses that you need to have throughout your day so that you don't keep grinding this body down? Instead, you can get it moving more fluid and let it have the opportunity to consistently heal and grow and develop beyond into what your functional health goals are. And if we can understand that, then our mindset changes of, okay, I get the why. I understand why it's happening. Now I can be more at peace with this process that my body's going through. I don't have to stress out about all of the um, various, uh, like, act like anytime I have like some type of tweak or setback, that doesn't mean you took seven steps backwards. It just means you tweak something, you overdid it a little bit, and now what do we need to do to get it back on track? And I understand why it happened, and I'm going to keep allowing this thing to go through its natural ebbs and flows because in any health, uh, any health goal, there's ebbs and flows. We all know this. Like you want to get in better shape. You want to be able to do, get stronger. Well, when you first start, you might only be able to do five push-ups, and then you're going to get really sore. And for the next few days, you're not going to be able to even do five push-ups. but then you heal and you get stronger and then you're able to do more. And then you get sore again and you're not able to do any, do very many. And then they heal and you're able to do even more and you build it that way. Same thing if you're developing our, uh, a better endurance around your running or your biking or your rowing or swimming or whatever it is, you can only start at so at such a uh, certain intensity for so long, and that increases more and more. But it hurts in the meantime. Like you get sore, you get tired, you're not able to do it day in and day out. You have to take breaks. You got to let your body recover. All that good stuff. Same thing happens when you rehab. When you get started with physical therapy after a surgery or after a significant injury, you, you might do all the right techniques perfectly, but your body broke down in that aspect, in that, that process. And now it needs a couple of days for it to re rehab, for it to get some blood flow to it, for it to rest a little bit, for it to repair a little bit. There's natural ebbs and flows. So if we have the understanding of this is what's happened, this is the process that I'm going through, then I don't have to freak every time I have a tweak or every time I have the quote unquote ebb to my flow. So that helps us on the mindset side, which keeps our consistency up. That helps our clients stay consistent week in, week out, day in, day out. Obviously not everyone's perfect and mo most people don't bat a thousand. Most people skip a day or two here and there with crazy schedules we have alive. That, that's fine. But they're very consistent, relatively speaking, for months on end with their programs because they know what they're trying to do and what their body is going through in that process. So that's a huge facet of it is the consistency factor when we have a healthy mindset about our, our bodies. The other aspect of mindset, which is kind of a no brainer, but not everyone gives credence to this, like I said, as much is, but when we stress out really about anything, but when we're really stressed out about our health and freaked out and terrified about like, oh, I can't walk for two miles because I, but like, that's gonna, my, I'm going to, uh, someone told me that that will cause me to never be able to walk again. That like, that, that's maybe an extreme statement, but like, you get the point. If someone is putting the fear of God in us that we can't do something. And so now I'm guarded over everything that I do. I'm not going to move at all because of that. 
those things create mental emotional stress, which then create higher cortisol levels, which cortisol isn't necessarily evil, period, but chronic high levels of cortisol, which many of us have from the stress levels that we have, create systemic inflammation. And when the whole body system system wide is getting inflamed, guess which areas of the body inflame and get impacted the most? It's the actual weak links in the chain. So the areas that are typically injured, typically deteriorated a little bit more, those are the guys that talk to us more. So we get a mental, emotional stre uh, uh, stress, and all of a sudden that back is killing us, that neck is driving us crazy, our knee is throbbing, and, and it's because we have this systemic inflammation that's happening in our body. So getting into a healthier mindset, reminding us ourselves of this is the direction that I'm going in. This is what I'm doing for my body each day. This is the process that I'm going through. It doesn't have to take long, just doing a little bit of mental emotional work, whether that's reading an affirmation, whether that is doing a little bit of a meditation, uh, whether it's doing a body scan, just a mindfulness body scan on the body. Uh, it can be like prayer. It can be whatever you want. It, like but taking just a little bit of time every day, even if it's five minutes, to just reflect and, and, and kind of calm the mental emotional side down, understand where you're at, and be willing to go through the natural process, whether it's rehabbing from a surgery, whether it's rebuilding, uh, reteaching your body how to run correctly, or anywhere in between, is an incredible way to, on the holistic side to make you so much more successful in your functional health goals. Then, Another aspect is nutrition. And nutrition is huge because if we don't give the body the right nutrients to repair, then all of this physical work that we're doing is all for naught, uh, relatively speaking. Like, if I, it, like, we talk to our clients all the time, is they start getting more and more, like, they, they kind of get out of the, the pain cycle. And now it's time to build their body so that it's more functional and dynamic and they're able to get back into their, the, the activities that they're passionate about, whether that's tennis, whether that's golf, whether that is training for their endurance event or their sport or whatever it is, they want to get back into that. Now we got to push their body a little bit more on that exercise side. Obviously, things that they're ready for at that stage, whatever it is, it, it, that's in, to each individual. But we're going to push the body a little bit more. That means it's going to break down. That means it's going to get tired. That means it needs to repair. So if all we eat is bonbons after that, or all we're doing is drinking soda, or or we're not getting in the the right uh, phytochemicals or, mi or micronutrients and vitamins from our, our fresh vegetables, or we're not getting in quality protein and amino acids to help repair those those broken down tissues, then we're just going to keep deteriorating that tissue, and we're going to get sore, and it's going to stay sore, and our body isn't going to be able to move very well because it's sore, and and it's going to tighten up on us, and it's going to start taking steps in the wrong direction. So we also have to take a look at improving our nutrition. It doesn't mean we have to do big overhauls unless maybe we're eating McDonald's for every single meal. Then then we might have to do a whole overhaul. But for most people, especially our, our clients, they're it's not like they're they're eating takeout every meal of the day. They're eating relatively well, but they might need a few key tweaks. They might need a little bit more high quality protein. They might need some more vegetables in their diet. They might need some good high quality fats to help lubricate their joints better, like all the above. We need to help uh, hone in on the nutrition side so that the body has the right nutrients to actually repair and respond to all these new activities and, and uh, uptick in uh, physical output that it's trying to accomplish. And, and then when we coincide this whole approach, we have the right mobility techniques that are addressing the actual tissue tension restrictions that are preventing us from moving the right way. And we have the right corrective exercises that are teaching us how to do to move throughout our day correctly, how to exercise better, how to run and jump and, and lift correctly. And we're also pairing that up with a healthy mindset about understanding what's the, what are the ebbs and flows I'm going through? What, what's the process that I'm doing? What am I focusing on each day? And what's, what is my body accomplishing because of this? And having that, that end goal in sight all the time. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm building toward. Helps us on the mental emotional side. Keeps us consistent around it. And then giving us ourselves the right nutrients to help our gut stay in a healthy position so that we're not having leaky gut. We're not creating systemic inflammation that way. We're just having 
bacteria flowing into our, our own systems and that's creating inflammation in our bodies. And, and the, what that impacts in terms of our immune systems and, and overall health is a whole different animal, but all interconnected. But when we give our bodies the right nutrients, that helps it repair faster, that helps it get to where it have the right fuel that it needs to be able to do these um, activities that we enjoy so much correctly and keep us in a sustainable position with moving into full ranges, stable motion. It's all interconnected. And so that to us is why we end up having such great results with a vast array of clients, whether they're trying to keep up with the grandkids or whether they're training for sports. And, and that allows them to accomplish things that when they're working with just one particular practitioner, or one particular protocol, they might have certain results, but not necessarily feeling like they're really getting to where they want to go. They're really just chasing symptoms. So that, that to us is a huge facet. I wanted to talk about that on today's uh, video. And guys, if you want any help on this, we offer it for free for everybody. It, we offer two free consultation calls with my team and I. The first one is a, a quicker call. It's more information gathering, finding out what your background is, what your goals are, that good stuff. And then the next one is an actual video call where we do a full assessment, a vast array of movement, as well as range of motion tests to see how and why your body is moving and doing the way that it is. We also will talk nutrition or mindset on there if it's appropriate for you, if that's one of the things that you want to dive deeper on. It, it's their calls used for you guys to get a better understanding of where, what you need to do to get to your functional health goals. And we, like I said, we offer that for everybody. We're going to attach a link to our calendar. You can schedule a call, your first of the two free calls with our team, and we'd love to help you. Um, and also, if you have any other questions on other topics uh, specific to you or things that you want to hear about, feel free to type them away in the chat of the uh, or it, uh, below the video and in the comments um, or send us an email back or whatever and we'd be more than happy to uh, kind of put that on our uh, schedule for future topics and future posts. Um, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll talk to you soon.